Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. So it's been already 11.30 and I am very tired because I came from university and then I had to cook and I had to do my assignments. So yeah, I'm already getting assignments. It's a one year course, so what else you can expect? So the assignment was on uh, probability and I had to use R. And it's been a while, I haven't used R, so I even forgot uh, st uh, syntax of if else. So yeah, I'm in a really bad condition, but yeah, I need to uh, brush up and if I just see some uh, syntax here and there, I will be just fine. So yeah, I was able to complete my uh, assignment. Um, it, it took me like uh, two to 2.5 hours, I guess. Um, because uh, like I told you, I had to uh, Google all the syntax of R. So because of that, it took uh, quite a lot of time. Um, so far, uh, what I'm learning, so that's what I will be telling in this video. And uh, uh, yeah, that's what uh, I wanted to let you know guys uh, and keep you guys posted, updated. So yeah, that's what I'll be discussing in this video. And if you are new here or if you don't subscribe to the channel, please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of the programming creator family. And also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And uh, if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys. So with that being said, let's start our discussion. So yeah. Uh, we are learning Power BI for data visualization and statistics. So it will help us in uh, machine learning, deep learning or analyzing data much efficiently. So in those things, uh, this will help us. So for statistics, we are using R, like I told you. And uh, for visualization, we are using Power BI. Uh, so far, I have tried learning Power BI from several other uh, platforms, but I felt like they were not very organized or maybe i was not able to find any good resource or maybe i just didn't put uh, much effort so anything can be possible but uh, the professor who is teaching us uh, power bi data visualization i mean i liked his uh, lecture it is phenomenal i i was able to understand and uh, also i practiced uh, there are some problem statements or uh, even you can do those uh, it is available on youtube i will leave his uh, youtube channel link uh, into the description so you can check that out and if you are someone who is uh, getting into power bi or data visualization you should definitely check out his channel he has uh, pretty good tutorials there so it will definitely help you guys so yeah i will uh, definitely suggest you to check their channel and uh, yeah like i told you i liked it and so far uh, we have done like two lectures and one lab for data visualization and one lecture for uh, statistics. So lectures are not like a professor will stand in front of you and they will start uh, talking about several topics. It's like they already have pre-recorded videos. So we go to lab, uh, we watch those videos, we do our practical stuff. And uh, if we have any doubt or anything, we can ask the professor, they will be there in the lab. So that's how things are going and I personally like this thing because uh, we can learn on our own pace. So if somebody who is a slow learner, uh, because of them, whole class won't be lagging behind. And if somebody or many people are like a very fast learner, so the people who learn slowly, they won't be left behind. So in that case, I think it is a very uh, valuable thing or it's a very good thing. I personally li like these kind of uh, learning because that way you can pace your learning on your own and you get your own flexibility also uh, they release lectures uh, video lectures uh, before the lab or before class uh, a week before so if you want you can watch all those lectures uh, before going to the lab so that you will already have all the uh, doubts uh, noted down and you can directly ask those questions to them and you don't need to be in a lab for whole time like three hours or two hours whatever is the timing uh, whenever you are done with your work uh, you can leave so yeah you will have plenty of time to work on your own project work on your own ideas and uh, if anything else what you want to do there are like tons of uh, uh, societies and clubs it's not just about newcastle university it's in almost all the universities even my friend who is studying in Canada, she was telling there are so many clubs. So it's always good to join those clubs. You will learn so many things. I'm still confused which one to join. So probably by the week, 
by the next week i will be able to decide on that and i will join a group or society or club uh, also um i have made some friends and it's good here i mean i like it uh, but yeah the walk is kind of long i thought it will be manageable but uh, i'm not i don't know i mean walking every day for uh, five kilometers around three five kilometers so it is kind of a lot and also while coming back it's not uh, completely plain it's a kind of uh, slope so upward uh, slope so that's the thing so i'm thinking to take a bus pass maybe so yeah that's what i'll be doing so yeah i think uh, this is what i want to discuss in this video and uh, some of you asked me about a uh, room and how to find a cheaper room so uh, i can make a video if you are interested uh, do let me know in the comment section i'll be uh, more than happy to let you know guys and also if you want my room tour i can give you that also right now it is uh, pretty messy <laughs> i won't show you right now but uh, yeah uh, if you want i will make it proper and then i can give you a tour so yeah do let me know in the comment section i will be more than happy to do that uh, so with this i will end this video and hopefully uh, i'll see you in the next video and if you're not subscribed yet please go subscribe to the channel i think more than 80 or 85 percent people haven't subscribed to the channel so what is uh, stopping you guys go ahead subscribe it's free and also it keeps you motivated to make videos so yeah please subscribe and give this video a like also if you are into data science uh link is in the description you can download data science notes and uh, you can also join our telegram group there we have over a uh, thousand people and everybody is very much willing to help each other and uh, they respond to each other whoever has whatever knowledge they try to share it uh, with everybody so by sharing you increase your own knowledge and uh, also in today's world networking is very important so if you know people and if you try to help someone probably will make uh some good connection there so that's a good thing and helping is always very good uh so yeah this is what i wanted to talk in this video and if you have anything specific always let me know in the comment section i'll make a video on that or if it's a short thing i will explain it in comment section so yeah see you in the next video bye happy learning